Begin reading your task. Begin. Hi, Mr. Campbell. Uh, my name is Dr. Raza, one of the doctors in the acute medical unit. How are you? I'm feeling very dizzy. Oh, okay. Okay. No worries. Uh, I will have a look. Uh, so, um, I understand that you had a fall? Yes. Okay. All right. When did you fall? Yeah, I fall yesterday. All right. And you told that you're feeling dizzy. Uh, is there something started yesterday? No, I've been feeling dizzy for the past six months. Okay. Is it getting worse or better? Getting worse. Okay. Uh, and you are feeling dizzy at the moment as well? Yeah. Okay. Let me quickly examine you. Then we'll talk about why you're getting the dizziness and uh, what we can do. Okay? Okay. All right. Let me quickly check your oxygen saturation. Okay. Uh, you can talk to me. I'm happy with your airway. I can see that your oxygen saturation is also good. Do you have any pain in your chest at all? No. Okay. I need to quickly examine you. Is it okay if I expose your chest? Okay. Thank you. Take deep breath in and out, Mr. Campbell. Okay. All right. Any pain in the chest? No. All right. Okay. Now... Deep breath in and out. Okay. And again. Okay. Let me do a bit of tapping on your chest. Okay. Resonant. Resonant. Okay. Your chest is resonant. normal resonant. Okay. I need to listen the chest as well. Okay. Deep breath in and out. And again. And again. And again. All right. Let's check your respiratory rate. Okay, uh, your respiratory rate is uh, slightly faster. Do you have any other uh, symptoms like palpitation? You feeling that your heart is racing? Yes, I do feel that. Okay. Is it constant or does it come and go? No, it comes and goes. Okay, let me continue assessing you, okay? Okay. Capillary fill time. It's one second. Okay. And... Um, Rhythm and bowel bubble. Okay. All the pulses are present. Present. Okay. And the temperature is... Normal. All right, okay. Let me check your numbers on the monitor. Okay, your heart rate is uh, 198, 97. It is a bit fluctuant. Your ECG looks irregular. Okay, the blood pressure is uh, normal. Mr. Campbell, I can see on the monitor that you, uh, your heartbeat seems irregular. Is it something new? Did you have ever had any problem with your lungs or the heart? No, I don't have any lung or cardiac problems. Okay, so um, you you have no chest pain, did you say? No, no. Okay, okay. We need to get an ECG, a 12 lead ECG, okay? Uh, the full tracing of your heart. I can see that you have this atrial fibrillation. Uh, please don't worry, we'll find it out why your heart is beating irregularly, okay? Okay. Uh, your pulse is slightly higher. I need to give you a beta blocker, okay? okay. 
to to get it uh, better controlled okay okay and um, i need to continue assessing do you know where you are yes i'm at the hospital now okay okay let me check your eyes okay i'm going to show you bright light bilaterally reactive 3.5 millimeter in diameter okay i'm happy uh, with your pupils and i need to check the glucose now okay glucose level is 6.5 millimol per liter okay so i'm happy with the glucose as well uh, do you take any regular medications at all no okay all right let me quickly examine you again um, your heart rate is still a bit high and uh, your pulse is irregular blood pressure remains normal oxygen saturation is normal as well and you're able to talk to me um, you're breathing slightly faster please don't worry i'm here we need to find out what is happening and why are you getting dizzy and uh, i'm really concerned because you had a fall as well okay uh, i need to examine you i need to expose you from head to toe is that okay okay are uh, the chaperone with me thank you all right anything concerning on the skin no no okay um all right so mr campbell i've examined you and uh, all your numbers are fine apart from a new change in the ecg okay it is possibly uh, what is causing and giving you the dizziness okay and also the palpitations okay okay uh, we need to find it out why this has happened i will take a few blood samples of you okay uh, at the moment uh, we need 2 to minutes remaining we need to give you the medication uh, to control the heart rate as well as uh, you know when the heart is beating irregularly it increases the risk of patients getting the clots in the lungs or the legs okay and sometimes they can get the clot in the brain so for that uh, we need to start you on blood thinning medications is that okay yes you're not allergic to any medication are you no okay uh, so i will give you beta blocker to control the heart rate i can see that it is coming down we need to get the echo of your heart we need to get the ecg as well as uh, x-rays of your chest um i will take the blood samples i'll take the blood samples to check your kidney functions and your uh, inflammatory markers infection markers and check the thickness of your blood okay we'll rule out any heart attack i don't think but you uh, as you mentioned that you didn't have any chest pain okay um so we need to start you on beta blocker as well as a blood thinning medication to prevent the clot while we are waiting for the investigations to happen okay okay I will keep you in the hospital. I will go and discuss with my seniors to find out if they suggest me to add anything else. And uh, I will also discuss with the cardiology team so that they can see you and make further plan to find out why you have this atrial fibrillation, okay? Okay. All right. Is anything that you want to ask? Thank you. Okay, no worries. I'm still around. I'll come and see you after some time again. okay okay as soon as we get the blood results if there's anything abnormal i'll come and speak to you okay move, move on, on to, to the, the next, next station. station thank you